Along with the flash flooding, there was plenty of lightning causing all kinds of problems, too. Now, power was knocked out, burglar and fire alarms were tripped, and at one house in Middle Valley, a very close call for a woman on her front porch. News Channel Line's John Pless was there as firefighters answered her 911 call. John. Calvin Kim Misty Stevenson was just feet away from a lightning bolt that damaged her truck and her home. It looks like a big cat or bear dug its claws into the tree right next to Misty Stevenson's house. She came home for lunch, and on her way back to work, the storm unleashed its fury seconds before she would have stepped off her porch and into her Nissan SUV. As soon as I pulled the door to, lightning hit, hit my car, and well, you see what it did. It appears the lightning traveled from the tree along its roots, making an electrical contact with two tires on the opposite end of her truck. The energy blew out the windows. Again, she would have been in that truck just seconds earlier. What in the world did you think when you came and saw your truck? I was afraid to walk back outside once it happened because I ran back in. The lightning appears to have continued through the home's grounding system inside to the wiring. Stevenson smelled smoke, so she called 911. Dallas Bay firefighters arrived moments later and searched every inch of the house, even into the tight crawl spaces and attic. They could also smell smoke, but a thermal imaging camera did not find any excessive heat. We were unable to find anything. We've done a survey of the house, and we think whatever might have burned a wire or something like that, but uh, it appears that the fire, if there was one, is out at this time. Electric power to the house was cut off out of concern a damaged wire or appliance could smolder and spark a fire hours later. So even though there's no fire, this could probably turn out to be a pretty costly uh, ordeal for the homeowner. Yeah, both the car and the house depending on how much damage it is to the wiring inside. But uh, electrician will have to, have to do that, have to figure that out. This marks the second time in a week severe weather has affected Stevenson's life. And considering we had trees down last week when those storms come through and we didn't get power back on until Saturday. And now the power is out again at her house. That storm also kept Chattanooga firefighters busy. They answered almost 40 weather-related calls for help between two and 4 o'clock this afternoon.